Cars, sidewalks, parking lots, pools, just about everything is covered in it. Our annual pollen explosion is well underway across North Georgia. We're still getting the same pollen that we got last year, the year before that. It's the same one, you know, the trees are still out there. You know, we're still seeing our sycamores, our birch. You know, the pine pollen is an interesting thing because I think that's when we associate most of our allergen symptoms, but it just happens to actually come at the same time that the, you know, sycamore and birch where we're actually getting the most symptoms from. Atlanta's tagline, City in the Forest, comes with a cost. Each late winter and early spring, trees that famously dot our landscape release pollen as they bud and produce new leaves. However, the pollen that you see isn't necessarily the pollen that makes you sneeze. A lot of times patients start feeling symptoms when they actually see the pine pollen. And so they associate it with the pine being their actual most, you know, causing the symptoms. But in reality, pine just happens to come at the same time as, you know, your hardwoods. So like sycamore, oak and birch are you. Dr. Wong also says that exposure and duration of exposure to different pollen types vary greatly across people. This is one of the reasons why people are impacted differently during pollen prime time. No, it doesn't affect me. It is a big deal. I can tell when the pollen's in the air. Still love to go out and look at all the flowering trees and bushes. So. I feel like it hasn't been that much this year for me personally, because usually my car is covered in it, but I haven't been dealing with it too much. Now there's good news. If you are currently suffering, there are steps you can take to lessen pollen's impact on your overall well-being. It's just the simple things. You know, keep your windows closed. Um, by opening the windows, you're going to let the pollen into your home. You know, um, if you're doing a lot of outdoor activities, we recommend that you actually try to shower. And usually showering in the evening is the best time because you're then taking all the pollen that goes on your hair, your skin, and you're washing it off before you go to bed. So you're not Dr. Wong also says wiping your pet's feet after walks and having the best filters in your home, office, and car can reduce your pollen symptoms. Now, if you're waiting on the rain to provide some symptom relief, unfortunately, there is some bad news. Rainfall over the long term does not have a big impact on pollen levels. And try to remember, Atlanta wouldn't be a booming city within a budding forest without a little pollen from time to time. Cutter Martin, CBS 46 News. And Cutter just gave you a bunch of reasons to download our all new First Alert weather app. Scan that QR code right there on your screen. There it is. Grab your phone. Do it right now. And you can get notifications sent directly to your phone about drastic changes in the forecast. Now at 5.